guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do a quick video on tips on driving a box truck. As you all know, I do construction for a living. Um, so I drive a box truck every day. Uh, so I have a little bit of experience. Um, I'm currently driving back from Indianapolis, heading back to Kentucky. Uh, I had to go pick up some supplies for my boss. Uh, but I want to do a quick video on just some safety tips and stuff like that on driving this thing. So uh, You're a lot bigger um, than the average car um, So Keep an eye on your speed and your surroundings uh, The main thing is is your height you want to watch your height under bridges under branches um, and Then you want to watch following people is the biggest no-no. Following people too close is the biggest no-no um, I can give anybody. I've had some very close pulls with a fully loaded truck going down the highway at 70 miles an hour and the person in front of me jams on their brakes and my truck won't stop because I have, you know, 10,000 pounds in the back of it. So, uh, don't follow people too closely. Leave a big gap between you and the car in front of you. Um, and then watch your mirrors all the time. Make sure cars don't sneak up behind you to where you can't see them. Because if they're really close to the box truck, they can't see, I can't see them in my mirrors. So keep an eye out on that, um, especially before you back up. If you're new at driving one of these trucks, I would recommend having somebody um, outside the truck while you back up. Uh, on this truck, I have a, I have tow hole. So that comes in handy for engine braking. Um, basically, you'll manually shift the gears down. And yeah, that's however engine brake works, that's what it does. Um, and this truck also has a manual shift. So if I'm in Kentucky and I come to a stop sign at the bottom of the hill, I can't stop or I can't go up that hill and drive. So this truck has a manual shift on the, on the, on the shifter. Um, to where I need to manually shift it. Um, I think that's about it for the feet for like the safety features. Uh, just be careful while driving. Um, don't speed. Watch your height. I've had some gnarly branches hit the side of the truck because I don't, you know, I'm not paying attention and I'm on a back road, you know, in Indiana. And boom. I haven't actually blown the side out yet, but I've had some close pulls. Um, going around roundabouts, take it slow. These things like to tip, especially when it's windy. But if you have a full load and it shifts in the back of your truck, you're most likely gonna, gonna land on your side. Um, and then if you're a company, uh, make sure you get your DOTs, DOT numbers and all that legal stuff figured out so you don't get in trouble. Um, fortunately, I have to have DOT on this truck because I go out of state. I go to Ohio and I go to Indiana. Um, so, that's just one of the things of owning a box truck, I guess. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. Um, yeah, just take it slow, be careful, watch your mirrors, watch your height. Don't follow people too, too closely. Um, it takes a lot longer to stop in this truck than a car takes to stop, especially if you have a load on it or a trailer. Um, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of different things for work. Um, and I just like to take videos and, and post stuff of what I do. Um, I share it with, with everybody. So, you know, I find out how to do stuff on YouTube. Um, so I like to share that, share that to you guys. Uh, another thing like on my channel that I like to do, sorry about the bumps. Um, I'll watch a video, let's say that one video I have of, of, uh, wiring a, a 200 amp meter base. So when I was looking up how to do that, I mean, I kind of knew how to do it, but I was trying to find a YouTube video on it. Nobody had just a quick, simple, straight up video on it. You know, they, it was a 45 minute video or a 35 minute video of just, you know, somebody that, you know, they just, they show too much detail. I like to almost, if 
finish the job before my videos, or yeah, finish the job before my videos. That way I can show you guys and go over like the detail because it's for me anyway, maybe not you guys, but for me, I find it hard to watch somebody work because then it kind of like almost gets confusing or it just takes too long. Like, you know, everybody's life is busy, right? So, um, I just like to simplify it and just throw it, show it straight. This is how I did it. This is what I did. Um, kind of a video. So, um, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching, like I said, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Um, I hope to be uploading one on uh, installing my bathtub over at that tiny house that I'm building for myself. Um, I put that in a few days ago, so I want to upload that video uh, whenever I get the chance to. Um, all right, well, you guys have a great day. Thank you.